This is very likely my worst college match, if not ever, this year for sure. Let me just give you some quick highlights on what to expect. But why was this match so bad? Well, you have to know this day was actually a doubleheader, where we played two different teams the same day. This first match against the University of San Francisco was at 9 a.m. That's why I played horrible. And once again, sliced back ends only. Aside from me being early for anyone, I'm particularly slow, stiff, and tired every single morning ever. So whenever I play early morning, I know it's gonna be a nightmare. You know how Curious was saying he likes to go in a match cold so you can use his hands more? I just, I love being cold on the court, because then you use your hands more and then your body just gets into it. <laughs> but like you use your drop shots more you be more aggressive because you can't move yet your legs are stiff <laughs> well i'm the complete opposite i cannot disagree more i think because in the morning it takes me hours to get warm and while i'm cold i literally can't move anyway enough with the preface let's get cracking also more than 82 percent of you guys watching my videos are not subscribed and i'm sorry but that's just unacceptable we're currently at 3.6 thousand subscribers let's try and get to 5,000 by the end of the year so make sure you scroll just below the title of this video and absolutely smash that subscribe button and do it now since we had two matches that day the coaches agreed to actually start with singles instead of doubles so the match could be done earlier this was not good news for me it meant i was even less warm than usual for a 9 a.m match i was playing on court 2 against french player paul feet who's a 12.21 utr as you can see right from the start and i wasn't exaggerating i'm off to a very slow start and he's smart too in his play so far 40-30 and missed return and as I said I would only be slicing the entire time so that would make things more difficult and it could turn out to be a very tricky match. Anyway I'm down 1-0 and as you can see I'm not really my typical energetic form. I'm more static and less aggressive although I'm still looking to play as many forms as possible. He looks like he would be a solid player who kind of makes balls and doesn't miss much for free which is the exact opposite of what I wanted as it meant I would have to play for longer points. As you can see going middle here and then just getting tired and a free air. 15.30 here, looking to get on the scoreboard by being a little more aggressive, moving him around with the foreign. But, again, a miss. 30.40, need to gear up a little bit and a good first serve gets me to deuce. Deuce point, first big point of the match. I need to be aggressive but also use my legs a little more and stay solid if I need to. He's staying pretty deep so far so I don't quite have a chance to come forwards yet. He pushed me out here and I make a questionable attempt at a lob and that's a break gone. He's playing better than I expected honestly, decent serve and was pretty smartly coming to the net a lot to turn my slice returns into aggressive volleys. Here we go, 30 off and a serve to my foreign and I try to push him back with the return but I miss it. You can see I wasn't very loose and smooth in my swings. I'm still only one point away from deuce point though so I had to buckle down here. I get a short ball here and do absolutely nothing with it, but luckily he misses the pass. Vital deuce point here. I do not want to be 3-0 down this set. After a little pressure from myself, he finally gives in with the back end. So at least we're on serve now, things aren't too tragic and I really want to try and build some confidence and momentum now. Good inside in for and then obviously I approach to the other side. He throws up a lob and I thought I was well set but shanked this nowhere near the court. He celebrates in pure college fashion. I still get up to 40-30 though, disregard a score that says 3-1, that's wrong. I like the inside in here and usually follow if it down the line foreign. This time he goes for a regular pass but misses it. To all then and that's pretty decent considering it could have been 3 love down. We're 30 all now in this game and he kept putting pressure on me by rushing to the net on my slicing side whenever he could like he does here. Annoyingly that was pretty effective and he does that again here, I don't have an answer yet. I was still stiff, cold and pretty slow. This ball, like many others, I'm caught having to go back and kinda just save it and put it in play instead of moving back early to get a good hit. He then makes me run forward and I don't do enough on that ball there. 
I get up 43rd and none of the less though. I know if I could find some good depth and pace, I could neutralize his game and take the points myself. I just needed the energy and mindset to do that. A great approach down the line, followed by an overhead to close on the other side and the game is on. I was definitely starting to get in the match a little bit now. But also, with that I was trying to rush at times and try to do too much. While my legs were moving better side to side to reach balls, they weren't used a lot when I was actually playing the shot, which led to mistakes like these. He's down 15-30 here though, so it would really be great to be ahead in the match for once. Again though, he's playing deep and not leaving too much space to be honest. I keep trying to move him as much as possible, but I'm not really getting too many short balls. After two foreigns to push him out, I approach with the slice line and make the first volley, although I don't close it and get insanely lucky on the next one. I lose the first break point, but it's game on here at 30-40. As usual, I'm not interested in playing any back end whatsoever, but I am forced to hit one here, and he sees that and sprints forward. His volley's middle and I go down the line with pace, and he's late on that volley. There's always a tendency to get comfortable once you're up a break against a player you should beat on paper, and yeah, I get into slice back and rally here, not something I should be doing too much really, and yeah, I get punished for it. Up 15 and starting on a second serve, although luckily he wasn't very aggressive off the returns, and that allowed me to play with the upper hand. Short ball here, and I probably should have gone line as I keep him in the point. I let this one drop too much out of laziness and almost miss it, but luckily this third one here he can't get to. 30 all here, a mediocre serve and a bad return, and I celebrate to get back at him doing that all match. First chance to go 5-3 and a good first serve to start it off, but then a miss. If you're used to seeing my videos, you know that I don't typically make as many mistakes as I have this match so far. And points typically go like this one more often, with less loose errors. The score is once again messed up here, and it's not 15-40 but 30 all. Which is still a pretty good point, you can tell from the fact I'm grunting much more than the previous points. I lack a bit of patience though, and was still annoyed that he didn't really miss for free and here I miss a chance to gain my first set point. This guy was really loud and a bit crazy honestly. Here he's complaining that the score is wrong and shouting at the referee. She was doing a horrendous job though, so we have to be honest. Eventually she fixes that, and on his serve and volley I surprise him by going line and do earn that set point. I was pretty sure he was gonna serve and volley in first serve, and he does, so I try to keep it low at his feet. But then this one-handed lob is just not frankly good enough. All fine though, I can still serve her out, right? Easier said than done. I have the upper hand the entire time this rally, ripping foreigns left and right. I get the smash here and it looks like it would be enough, except not quite, he throws up a lob, and I hit a Djokovic smash, and then missed the volley. So 15-30 now, and a good first serve doesn't quite give me the big advantage I expected. I have to work to win the point. Great foreign combo here, and honestly surprised he made the pass, but he can't possibly get to this one. 30 all, big serve wide, and a ball to the other side. Pretty standard stuff, I would say. And here's where it gets tricky, because I should have closed this, but I don't. And I'm forced to play this kind of awkward slice approach. But his last lob is short this time, and I can close the point. Two set points in a row now. That's a heavy mistake. I cut the clip because he started shouting again in my face and it was starting to be annoying while editing, but that goes to show you really how much a match can change based on the outcome of these two points. I wasn't playing my best or anywhere near, and you can tell as even if the last couple of games were fine, these two big mistakes to close a set are not something that happened typically to me when I'm playing confident. I'm putting up a great game here though, and now I have 4 break points. His back and miss secures the break. The game starts off well with his miss return, and in no time I'm up 40-15. After this foreign, the first chance is gone though. Winning the first set was a massive important in these conditions and for how I was playing. 
because it at least gave me some breathing room. Also, the ref once again messed up the scores. So these next couple of games, the score box is going to look a little choppy because I corrected it with some overlays. But at least it's right now. He puts his high ball up and I just play heavy inside out and he misses. 40-30 here, it wouldn't be terrible to snatch a breakpoint opportunity to start off the set. To try and sail more smoothly, let's see what we can do. So far just standard point where I'm trying to hurt him with the foreign, but he's staying deep or making me run as well. I played a slow middle slice to give him a different ball, but that backfires as I now have to run. He approaches cross and I do my best to get a foreign on the pass. I hold the next game, and his service games the points are getting better. I think the quality raised a little bit from the first set. This foreign slice makes him miss. He was still serving volleying a lot, but whenever I could get a foreign I had a great chance of winning the point. He ends up holding and so it's back to work. Bit of a scare with this pass but I saved myself with this pickup volley. A good serve here and a foreign to close the point, that's more like it. Bit of a waste that last point but still managed to hold and now I'm up 15-30 the next game. Big down the line foreign but it was honestly really hard to close the points against him, he ran a lot. But I make it here with this volley. Two break points. Forty thirty after bringing him, I get a bit lucky with the serve but again I always had to play the extra ball against him to close the point. Luckily the smash does the job. 4-2 law 30 now and I want to try and get away here and get it over with as momentum was on my side. But he's first to come forward and I miss the lob. This is the very next point, 15-30, not law 40 and again he just loved coming to the net. I don't know if in general or against me to be honest. He plays the volley very deep and I throw up a lot of the best way I can. And for once it's actually a good one. I'm able to hit a big four and afterwards and another one here but then I missed that one. 30 all then and trademark points, serve T, slice return from me and cross court volley win. He ends up holding so I'm not that near the finish line just yet. And I start off not well with this weak slow forehand. I think he regained some energy and willingness to fight after winning the last game. As you can see he's being very tough from the back and not giving me anything at all. I go for too much here and miss badly. And now welcome to the circus. This segment will appear in my matches from now on showcasing the most stupid points lost that should have been won. Enjoy. Make sure you stay tuned because I'll try and come up with new segments like these during my matches to make them more interesting. Love 40 now, this has been by far the worst game of the match. I'm not even trying to get foreigns here and yeah I eventually just miss a sitter slice. For all, have to do all over and I get a first serve that bounces on the baseline here and the second serve at the net. So a cheap start for me and a 15 all after a serve and volley he misses the volley this time. This is a really big point and you can already see from the return my footwork is different from what it's been this match. And then I craft a slice pass which he thought was going out but doesn't. First break point. Tough point, but he comes out of top. 
30-40, good inside out return, and then I load up my favorite shot, but it's a miss, just wide. After play it a deuce then, another inside out return and this time I stay on that side. And just like that he misses the back end deep. Serving for the match now, hasn't been easy to get to this point honestly and still a little work to do. I'm up 30 love and feeling confident knowing what I have to do. Huge foreign down the line and the lob just won't go in. Match point. The miss slice and that's the match. A very sweaty, ugly win in these conditions that are the opposite of favorable for me. Probably the worst match I played this year, too many mistakes and not enough winners or free points with the foreign, which usually indicate my performance pretty accurately. Credit to him too though, for running and making a lot of balls and put constant pressure on me by going to the net so much. What's important was getting the win for the team, we actually ended up winning 4-0 and we were now ready to face our next opponents the same day, Portland. Stay tuned as that video where we'll play them will be coming in the next couple of weeks and is a very special one.